Alright guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video, Faction War Season 3. Here we are at my new base. Okay, so this base is actually the old first base of the Nexus. And I know um, if I wouldn't have said that, you guys would have wrote that in the comment sections. Because uh, a lot of you guys will recognize this base. So, um, yeah, this is a 3x3 three three base. I'm using it because actually... We had a, I think like a ally faction or something, build a really, really nice size cactus farm. And basically my first base wasn't working out. My buffer was really, really, really small. So uh, I'm definitely taking advantage of this. I found this base. I had a home set in the base. And basically I'm just gonna use it for a cactus farm and maybe some chest storage and maybe an alchemy kind of like a mini base I'm gonna actually do like a mini base inside of this base because it is a huge huge 3x3 three three. it's like exactly 3x3 three three. and yeah it was unfortunate that we had to move because we did get corner cannon like the first or second day I can't remember of playing factions and I think it was like get swatted or uh, yeah it was get swatted that um, cannoned us and they got inside of our like cobble storage and they were ca causing havoc and probably setting homes all over the base so I'm gonna show you guys how to get rid of those set homes and um, yeah make this a awesome base that can be used even though there is a very very high potential of set homes so first things first um, I removed there was like this corner storage area right here it looked like they were actually going to do a natural mob mob system in this it was going to be a huge one but it was like only one side of a corner so I just I completely cleared it so if there was anyone logged off they would just fall and die I, I got a awesome awesome potential a uh, really 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 great spot of course there is a very high uh, percentage chance of people actually setting their homes in here so basically what I've come up with is instead of taking out this floor which is one option instead of doing that I am going to put a layer of water on this and then basically I'm gonna put two blocks regular blocks so if they log in BAM they'll suffocate to death you really can't end the pearl out of that so basically it's a really really awesome base and there wasn't that that many holes in it so I think I'm gonna be really really set to go if I do this and then plug up the holes so um, yeah there was no other like other random like pillars or anything there is that one but it goes all the way to the very very ceiling so there's no potential for set homes right there so the only really really only potential this wasn't right here of course is this floor so that's what I'm gonna do so definitely if you find um, abandoned bases that haven't been built in really there's you know not not very many places you can set home if there's I mean you can't set a home like in a wall or like up in the air so I mean there's ways there's definitely ways you can get around this so look at this monster monster cactus farm I think I might finish it or just make it uh, probably I don't know if I'm gonna finish all the way to that high that would take a lot of work but let's show you guys how it works I mean <laughs> obviously you know how a cactus farm works but they're using the really really crappy cactus farm design which is unfortunate because it does about 20 to 30 percent less of actual cactus growth um, because all the I mean the cactus just falls onto other cactus or other blocks so I mean definitely not the best cactus farm but you know the scale of it is really really nice and big so it actually does it does a lot of cactus which is awesome because I didn't have to build any of this and is a lot better than last season because last season was like probably a third of this in reality so I'm already doing a lot better than I am last season and 
let's check it out let's check oh I need to go on the other side dang it all right so I'm just gonna dig down it's unfortunate I have to do this but I'll probably get the ice back in all right so let's check it out and I got four hopper set up so let's go to the other side and really okay so the very top there was probably a lot of set homes and then right here is going to be a lot of set homes so I have a plan to actually save this cactus farm from uh, people stealing all the the cactus out so I don't know what to do about this part but this was all open right here I put these blocks right here so if they were in between these two blocks they would get suff suffocated to death but I do probably have to change this design around either I'm gonna to have to move it down or I'm just gonna to have to just completely change where the cactus flows and that might actually be the best option uh, most safe route but um, we'll see we'll definitely see all right so we're definitely earning that cactus got a great source of income already which is awesome got four hoppers and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put water all the way around even like like this I'm gonna put water all around and it's gonna definitely stop people from leading creepers in because uh, creepers are definitely spawning now even with a lot of light it seems like they're still finding ways to uh, spawn well here's some darkness right here so Actually, I'm just going to do kit torches and remove that, remove that darkness. And actually, I do have a lot to work on on the outside. Uh, looks like someone got in the base right here when it was like not very clean very well. I'm not sure what's going on right here. It looks like something happened. But we do have, it looks like the second trench already done. So I think what I'm gonna do um, to save to save those hoppers from getting cannoned, I'm gonna do some defenses around the hoppers, and I'm gonna finish this second wall, and then probably uh, just put water at the very top. I'm not gonna do like a second wall. Actually, build a whole another second three by three wall that takes a lot of time. So I think I'm just gonna fill this in like this and put some slabs on that bad boy and put water right right where the grass is on the very top and I think that will be pretty decent I mean I've only been here for a couple hours so I doubt anybody would cannon this super super fast but you never know so you actually want to do this really fast if you're gonna do it so actually that's probably what I'm gonna be doing this episode is just plugging up the holes and then putting slabs back all right guys welcome back I am basically on my step three of sealing up this space and stopping uh, people from basically uh, uh, getting around the base if they already have their set home so uh, what I'm thinking is this water right here it actually protects the cactus farm from getting cannoned if they have if they set up their cannon anything above this Y level they would have to hybrid through this which would make it extremely difficult much more difficult not not super difficult if it if it's from far away yeah it would, it's pretty difficult actually cannoning uh, ceilings and bases but um, that's not the total purpose of course it's to basically stop the people who have the set homes already in my base from actually moving around in my base I do not want people um, moving in so what this water does it will allow them to kind of jump once they log in say if they get stuck in a block they could probably maybe if they have a hack client get out of it but really gun Triller is like a super awesome server for that kind of stuff you can't you can't pearl if you have contact with the block which is amazing because uh, that that stops about 99% of all glitching 
unless you have a hat client I don't know too much about hat clients I've never had one so all I know is from what the common knowledge is about glitching so um, I use a lot of string throughout my base it definitely helps um, and then ceilings I usually have really thick ceilings because I think there's like a hat client where you can just basically they type in something they'll just magically flow through the door I don't know how it works I have no idea if you guys know um, how to protect your base better I I don't really care about much about glitching because they're not going to be able to get in my chest and stuff like that when you're a really big big faction you have to worry about glitching a lot more than if you're you know a one man faction no one's gonna spend you know too much effort for you know just a bunch of noob stuff and that's basically what I have uh, the spawning system I am gonna set up of course it's kinda like last uh, season I'm just gonna use it and then when I log off I'll just take the spawners with me unless I feel like there's an adequate protection which there might be you never know it's going to definitely take a lot of work to get it to that point because uh, I do have a crap ton of spawners I have like 25 spawners now so I've definitely been uh, pumpkin farming that's been OP and a little bit of sugarcane farming and mostly yeah mostly pumpkin voting gambling hustling raiding <laughs> So I think we'll probably work on the cactus farm, do some raiding, something like that. Alright, I'm God at PvP is gonna give me 22k guys. So thank you guys for giving me, uh, you know, some startup money so I can uh, buy armor, buy some spawners. And yeah, for just enjoying my videos, stuff like that. So shout out to I'm God at PvP and here it comes I guess whoa 21 to 22 K dang thank you man Woo woo. 